Uh, Etor David Newton with ESPN.com. I'll kick it off for you. So tell me about how you train for this hot dog eating contest and how many dogs have you eaten in two minutes? <laughs> I didn't I didn't do much training uh, other than me and me and Derek like looking up YouTube videos of uh, the you know the Nathan's uh, National Hot Dog Eating Contest and stuff like that. But um, just went out there and you know I knew I knew Coach Rule was you know big on competing and stuff, so there's no way I was really gonna get out of it. Just went out there and competed. Um, ate nine nine hot dogs in in the three minutes, and I don't anticipate eating any hot dogs anytime soon. So. Hey, you to our Will Kunkel here, Fox 46, man. Good to see you again. Um, have you talked to any of your buddies at Penn State, or what's your advice to those guys right now as they go through a lot of uncertainty right now in the college game? Yeah, um, I talk to those guys, you know, pretty often. Uh, you know, some of my best friends there. So, um, I mean, really, I don't have any kind of advice, um, you know, dealing with their situation. You know, I don't really know um, any more about it than – uh, probably, you know, they do, which is, you know, uncertain. So I'm um, just continue to work and continue, you know, hope for the best and hopefully they have a season. How would you summarize your first, you know, full week in the NFL training camp? I'm sure it's been a blur and it's not exactly what you expected for obvious reasons. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's been, it's been, you know, different from what I expected, but I think everyone, um, you know, made the most out of it. Um, and, you know, getting around, you know, all these vets and these people, you know, with these competitive energy, um, I, I think it's better for, for everyone. Um, and, you know, it's going to make everybody a better player, a better coach, uh, and so on and so forth. So it, it's been nice to get back into this, you know, football environment. And one final one, Matt Rule said that KK is a big-time leader for you guys on the defensive line. Is there anything that you've learned from him specifically that you just never even thought of this early in the game? I feel like, you know, uh, KK is someone who like really leads by example. Um, and that's kind of like what I took from him so far, you know, just learning how to practice, you know, like a veteran, um, and the details that he approaches practice with and, uh, that he, that he even carries in just even through a walkthrough. So, um, just, just trying to pick his brain. Itura, this is Miles Simmons from Panthers.com. I was wondering, what do you feel like is going to be the biggest challenge for you in, in terms of just getting ready to play week one since you've had limited practice time and you're not going to have any preseason games? I'm sorry. Uh, I couldn't hear you that well. What did you say? Sorry, man. Uh, just what, what do you think is going to be the biggest challenge for you in terms of just getting ready to play week one since you're not going to have preseason games and just limited practice time? Um, I, uh, I'm not too sure. Um, I feel like, you know, I'm just really concerned right now with, you know, taking to each and every day to try to try to improve on something. And um, I'm sure that these coaches and, you know, my teammates and myself are all going to have uh, me ready when it's time to go. Etor, uh, hey, uh, it's Josh Klein from the Riot Report. Um, Coach Snow and I think Coach Rule right after you got drafted said that they thought you could really figure before you got into the NFL. Have you did you put on any weight in the uh, in, during the preseason or in, during the off season? And um, and how much do you think that additional weight will help you uh, at the next level? Um, right now I'm weighing about two sixty six, uh, which is you know exactly the same way I weighed at the combine. Um, so you know obviously I think with my frame I got some some uh, more space to fill out, um, and that's only you know I'm gonna make me that much stronger. So. You too, Josh Graham, Sports Up Triad. How much have you been thinking about your friends at Penn State, your former teammates, with everything happening over the weekend? Um, you know, I've been thinking about them a lot. You know, I hope, you know, the best for them. I know those guys, you know, they're grinding uh, relentlessly. I know the type of people they are and how they work up there. So, um, you know, I pray for them that they have a season and, you know, it goes well for them. Dick Cox with Cox Sports Broadcasting. Uh Breaking news is the Big Ten is voted not to have sports just now, fall sports. What concerns do you have going into your season? Um, I mean, as of right now, you know, that's the Big Ten. And, you know, hopefully, you know, the NFL doesn't follow the same suit. Um, but, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking for those guys. I know they really wanted to play. Can you speak on the position that NFL players are in compared to college athletes when it comes to figuring out whether or not 
we're going to have a season. I'm JB Rich with uh, Spectrum News, by the way. My apologies on yeah. that. Uh, I just wanted to piggyback off that question, the position you guys are in compared to college athletes. Um, honestly, I, I feel like I really can't speak from a college athlete perspective. Uh, a lot of times when I talk to my buddies and stuff, we don't, uh, you know, a lot of times they don't like to talk about football. Um, so, you know, I knew that they didn't, there were a lot of uh, uncertainty about certain things, but, you know, here we're planning on playing the season um, and getting ready for that week one um, and, and still trying to get better. So that's what the focus is. Hey, Etor. Sure. This is Elena Getzenberg with the Charlotte Observer. Um, I was kind of wondering, we talked to you after the draft, but what were your last few months like kind of outside of the virtual meetings? How'd you stay in shape and what was it like for you? Uh, I was pretty busy. I was, I've was i been in Charlotte for a while, uh, working out up here. Um, so every day after the meetings, I usually go work out or before the meetings. Um, and then uh when everything was finished, you know, my day was pretty much over. So I haven't really been up to much besides working. Did you meet up with any Panthers or other players while you were in Charlotte? Yeah, um, myself, you know, Derek Brown, some of the other rookies. Um, you know, we hooked up and, you know, try to go over plays and stuff on our own, um, work out together and stuff like that. So uh, it's been nice. Yeah, to that point, go, go ahead, Joe, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Go ahead. Um, hey, hey, Etor, uh, being – to that point, being one of seven guys um, that were drafted coming in as draft picks, how much does that help having all those guys coming in together, kind of being on the same page um, and being able to learn together? How has that helped you? Yeah, I mean, I think um, – especially in my position, having, you know, two other people drafted in the same position room. Um, so we're able to, like, go through a lot of the same similar situations and um, bounce just ideas off each other. Um, and then having time that, you know, we were here before camp even started. Um, I think that just helps so much more because you know, we had like each other to push. Um, so. Etor, uh, my name's Joe Person with The Athletic and uh, was going to ask you too, what you thought about uh, college football players talking about unionizing and uh, just kind of becoming a little more, uh, you know, sort of, Solid, consolidated, and, and having more of a void. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not really understanding the question. There's been a lot of talk uh, with COVID, especially, but also in terms of uh, player likenesses and getting compensated at the college level. About even maybe having a players' union type deal at the college level. Wondered if you'd be in favor of that, and just kind of your thoughts on that. Um, I mean, I mean, communication is important. Uh, I don't really know too much about um, what's been going on in, in, in college right now, but kind of focused on, you know, trying to make myself better for this team. Um, so right now, that's, my, that's, that's where my head's at. Yitor, uh, Jason Huber, WFMZ, how much have you been able to, or what type of similarities are you, have you been able to see uh, with Brian Burns, and how do you think you two can be two guys on the defensive line that can work together in the future for the Panthers? Uh, you know, me and Brian, I think two guys who are long and athletic. Um, I think uh, we play, you know, kind of different games, but uh, he's been someone who's been helping me out a lot. You know, anytime he sees me uh, going through a drill or, taking notes, you know, he just gives me a little something on um, putting it back in my mind or coaching me up on a drill uh, to make myself that much better. So um, he's helped me out a lot already. Hey, you okay. hey, you ahead, Chris. Chris. Charlotte Vibe. Just wondering, what's something that sticks out for you that you've learned so far in this process and what has been your biggest challenge in getting up to speed on this pro level? Uh, something that I learned it will probably just be uh, like the attention to detail that, you know, the players in the NFL have and um, just how, you know, trying to pick their brains on how this game works and what they see out there um, and, and trying to make everything as simple as possible. Um, and, and as far as, you know, a setback, you know, obviously I think, you know, the whole Corona, um, you know, COVID slowing everything down. Um, but other than that, you know, I, I feel good about it. Tour David Newton again here from ESPN. What, uh, where do you feel like you get your competitive nature? What drives that? My competitive nature? Um, I don't know. I feel like I've always just, you know, not wanted to be the one to, you know, let anybody down, let myself down, 
so I feel like I always just got something to prove. Um, and I feel like I try to carry myself that way, you know, in, in everything I do. And, you know, hopefully, you know, I make myself proud and everyone else around me. It's your uh, Miles Simmons again. Just one of the things that people were talking about as you were coming out of the draft was your versatility and your ability to play inside and outside. Just what has, uh, I guess, been sort of the talk about you in terms of you maybe playing inside or outside um, since you've been with the Panthers now? Yeah, um, you know, they're mixed and matching guys, you know, all over the place right now. Um, and, you know, versatility is important, so I'm just trying to make myself uh, – you know, available anywhere that, you know, they want me to be or need me to be, um, and, you know, I'm going to be willing and able to do it. So um, just try to go out there and, and, you know, take notes of not just what I'm doing, but what everybody else is doing. Ether, Mike Salarte with Spectrum News. Uh, what's the one, what parts of Phil Snow's defensive philosophies really mesh with what you want to do? What are you liking about the defensive system that you've kind of worked through so far? I mean, one thing I like about his defensive philosophy right now is just how big he is on effort. Because um, I feel like, you know, that's something that, you know, could really change the game. Um, and the way they're coaching it and the way they're like, implementing to everything that we do, um, I think that's just only going to make us so much better. And you know, I, I see myself, you know, thriving in that environment. So we got time for one or two more with Etor, guys. Etor, you talked a little bit about versatility, and Matt Rule mentioned last week that uh, if defensive guys have any sort of offensive play in their background, he's given them a little bit of offensive skill coaching. Have you, you got this guy on defense that might translate to offense. I'm sorry, you cut out there in the middle. I, I can hear that. Uh, Matt Rule was saying that he, if anybody has played offense in their background, high school or anything, they're getting a little bit of coaching up on the side just to add to that versatility. Have, have you gotten any of that coaching up? And uh, who do you think on the defense would make the best guy on offense? Well, me personally, I played offensive tackle in high school, so um, I haven't got any coaching on offense. Um, and, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I guess you have to ask my rule on that one. Um, I don't think I've got a good enough look at everybody just yet. Etor, uh, last one. Obviously, Joe. you and you and Matt, Coach Rule, uh, share the Penn State connection. Did you know much about him uh, you know, before the draft process? And did, did you ever have a chance to meet him through Penn State circles? No, I actually did not. Um, but. You know, that Penn State, the Penn State connection is real. Um, so we are. I'm here now. So.